What's up guys? All right, the install video for today, uh, it's probably two things I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna, gonna show you guys the one thing. It's installing or wrapping grip tape around your road handlebar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove this grip tape, remove the handlebar because the client wants a new handlebar, and then I'll just show you how to um, replace the grip tape or just turn the grip tape onto this, or wrap it, as they say. Alright guys, just remember one thing, when working with these things, always wear gloves because some of them are sweaty and it doesn't smell very nice. Alright guys, I've removed the grip tape now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the handlebar and the, and the shifters. Uh, moving over to replacing the new handlebar, I'm going to do that in hyperlapse. And then I'll just show you how to wrap the new tape. Alright guys, I've actually replaced this handlebar. It's been quite a story. Three handlebars on. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you how to wrap the grip tape and then we'll take it from there. Alright guys, sorry for the background noise. There's guys building a shop next door and it's been like this for the last two weeks so I really do apologize. Alright, the first thing you're going to do when replacing the handlebar or grip tape, uh, secure your cables uh, or the housing. Some of, the, some of them are internal, uh, some of them run at the bottom here. Or you'll see the handlebar has got a small groove inside where you can actually just uh, secure that with some insulation tape and we're going to move on to putting on the grip tape some people start at the top and work their way down to the bottom they call that the pro technique so you don't need any um, insulation tape at the top i'm going to do the old-fashioned one where i start here at the bottom and then we'll move it up uh, to the top so let me set you guys up and we'll take it from there all right guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my grip tape i'm just going to cut it here to angle Alright, if you've done that, you can clean the handlebar a little bit, I haven't, um, I haven't cleaned everything off it, it's fine like this, so what you're going to do is just remove the tape at the bottom so you know it's nice and sticky, not the whole way, just a little piece where you start, 
and I'm going to push that side in there. I know this thing is filthy at the moment, but you can't actually wrap tape with the gloves on. Well, I can't. Then you're going to start, either you're going to take it inward or outward. The best way I can show you to take this is from the outside inward and give it a nice pull when you take it around so it's nice and firm, firmly wrapped around it. And then make sure as you go around that all your gaps are the same. As you start there, make sure all the gaps will be the same as you go around. And when we get to this bend here, I'll show you there's two things you can do. You can either take a small piece of your grip tape and just stick it there to make sure that doesn't stick out. Otherwise, there's a figure of eight that you can go around this. And I'm going to show you the figure of eight today. Alright guys, and I'm going to show you what I usually do here. Like I said, you can just uh, stick a little part of the grip tape here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the figure of eight. So you're going to go around. You're going to come to the top. Get it nice and snug underneath your shifter. Uh, just make sure your sticky tape stays off here at the back. You're going to take it around again. And you're going to bring it up. And the, to test this, just put your shifter head uh, root down and you'll see there's nothing sticking out on those sides. Alright, and then the another thing is you'll just finish around to as far as you can go, one to go. Also going to cut it at another angle and uh, then we'll use the insulation tape. And this is the one that I prefer to do. Alright guys, I'm just going to finish it up to the point where I want it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do another 45 or just an angle um, cut on it. To make sure it lines up perfectly with the other side of the handlebar or the grip tape and then we're going to use the insulation chip just to finish it off nicely so let me show you how i'm going to do this basically going to take it around remember your gaps make sure they are all the same and depending on how tight you uh, pull this will depend on how tight it goes around the handlebar it depends on the width that you're turning it so we're going to go around this is basically how i do it and i must say i've been doing this for 12 years and it's been working perfect every time i haven't had a problem with this most important thing is your gaps around all of them it will just give you that nice professional neat look at the end of it all right so when we get to the end here what we're going to do is i'll just get this camera closer quickly all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to give it another angle cut so like that Alright, so that when you actually tighten this to the end, it will line up pretty good there. We'll take it around and as you see, that actually lines up very, very well. It'll we'll take your insulation tape, uh, just make sure you cover that and make sure it won't go anywhere. Put in your cap here at the end and you should be good to go. Alright guys, the next little one is for FTK. Job was sad note, I'm tagging you in this video, I'm going to guess your Instagram. I'm going to link it down below and make sure everybody knows who you are. That's good. Alright guys. Um, uh, motivation as usual I've actually read a few quotes this morning and I'm going to share these two with you positivity is contagious so is negativity choose to spend more time with people who think positively speak positively and support your vision your life purpose and your project good energy and positive vibes are contagious guys remember positivity can take you so many places if you're negative you'll only break down everything that you preach um, for example, this is going to be a good day, we're going to make lots of money, or we're going to be positive and then half an hour or hour later then you're negative and you're saying that this will be the worst day ever, I can't do this anymore. Just remember, think twice and speak once. Positivity is contagious. 
Be positive, think positive and act positive and never say never.